Hello beautiful and welcome back to another edition of Shop My Stash or Everyday Makeup Drawer. This is what we picked last week. So we're going to go through them really quickly. But before that, let's do what we usually do. Subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. We're on our way to 1,000 subscribers. Help me get there, please. And now well, let's get into this. Okay, so foundations. I've used both of these. Eh, I still stand by my first um, first impression about this uh, foundation. This is not a foundation that I enjoy. It is very matte. It's a kind of drying. I mean, I put it with this luminous one, and I also add this uh, NYX uh, Touch Hydration Primer, and it still was a little bit on the drying side. So you can imagine how dry this is. I do not like it. I'm going to take it out. I'm also going to take out this one as well. We're going to find new interesting things. Uh this one I only played once with it, so I'm not going to I'm not going to put it back. I'm going to keep this one in um because I want to try it a little bit more. This one I did try it a bunch of times this week and I do really enjoy it. It's still really nice is still really good and it's absolutely amazing for those days when you definitely need some hydration love this thing um but we're gonna take it out now the winky lux one i really did enjoy it and i think i'm gonna take it out for now yes we'll take it out this one i actually liked it a uh, much better than last time i'm surprised this one worked really nice with this bowing cakeless um concealer but we're gonna take both of these out and we're gonna try something new this week you know uh let's see for lips yeah we're gonna take all of them out i like this it's more of a i thought it was lipstick but actually it's more of a um lip gloss than a lipstick uh this one actually i'm gonna keep it in the elf one because i only used it once and i want to use it a little bit more so we're gonna take this one out um this one i'm actually gonna keep in it's from pericode md and it's a lip balm i like it and i'm gonna keep it for this week as well these two liners i did use them um they're okay uh, nothing really impressive they're just okay okay we're gonna go i'm gonna take this one out from blink this one i actually do enjoyed and but i'm gonna take it out this week all right let's see what else is in here this one is gonna stay because i haven't haven't had the chance to play with this week so the glam light pizza veggie lover is gonna stay now the um essentials from violet voss the pro serial one it's not gonna stay because i already played with it um enough i would say so i'm gonna take this one out uh the pat mcgrath blush uh, I'm gonna keep this one in for for another week. I'm gonna keep it in for another week because when I tried it with that Catrice foundation, I didn't like it that much. So I need to see what's going on with that. The bronze and glow from Natasha Denona, I did really do enjoy this one. So, and I did uh, play with it. I used the bronzer. I have not used the highlighter, but I do like this. So I'm gonna take this one out though because. It's time for a new bronzer the highlighter i'm gonna keep this one in i'm gonna keep the huda beauty in i do like it i tried a lot of it but i want to try a little bit more and i want to try it with some different looks so this one is gonna stay in the mascaras are gonna stay in i'm not gonna change the mascaras um this one was not in our drawer uh but yeah i'm gonna keep so basically what i'm keeping from last week i'm keeping the huda beauty one the mascaras and all this stuff now let's go shopping all right so let's choose another foundation for this week i actually i think i want to go with this one the clinique one either the clinique one or we're gonna go with this one from wet and wild because this one is new wish and i want to try it a little bit more um i don't know which one i want to go with 
I kind of like, I kind of want both, but I'm not, I know for sure if I choose two, I'm not going to use two. I just need one. So I'm going to go with Clinique for now. I'm going to go with this one because I need to try this a little bit more. So this Clinique, even better clinical serum foundation. This is a little bit dark, but I have a thing from NYX that is going to be able to make it a little bit lighter. And do we have the color on this one? Uh don't think so. I don't have the color on this one. But yeah, we're going to go with this one for foundation. I went in here and rearranged things a little bit. So I need another um primer. We have that one that has that is like more of a pore feeling one. So I need something just a bit more maybe hydrating. Should we go with this one? I play with that one a lot. Actually, let me go with this one. This one is, I do enjoy this one under like really mattifying uh, foundation. This is from uh, Touch and Soul. And this is the Glassy Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm. I really like this one. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to put this one in for this week. Uh, for... For concealer, actually, we're going to go with something new. Um, I'm going to show it to you at the end because I really want to try that concealer. Um, and for, for powder, let's go, let's go with Sexy Mama. We're going to go with this one. I haven't played with this one in a little while, but, um, I think I liked it last time I played with it. So we're going to go with the Balm Sexy Mama. And for under the eyes, it's just something, something, something. Oh, yeah, let's do this one. Bah! It's going to be hard to take it out of here. But, yeah, let's do this one. This is the Burt's Bees Mattifying Powder Foundation with Bamboo. So, we'll take these two. Now in here, for a blush and a bronzer, I know we're keeping the blush from uh, um, Pat McGrath, but we're going to take a cream blush as well, because I want to try this one a little bit more. This is from Tower 28, and I have mine in Golden Hours. So we're going to go with this one. And for a bronzer, let's go with something that I have not played uh, with in a while actually i'm also gonna get one of this makeup by mario should i get both you know what i'm gonna put this one back the tower 28 and i'm gonna take both my makeup by mario sticks i have the blush in soft coral and the contour stick in light medium so we're gonna take these two i want to go with something cream but also i want some a uh, powder to go with that for a bronzer at least so why don't i yeah let's go with cover effects is this the this is the that was the blush i want the bronzer yeah the one in sun kiss so we're gonna go with this one okay so now for liners I know for sure I want to go with this one from Pure. This is a brown one. And it's actually really nice and creamy. Um, and I'm going to go with this one from Makeup Geek. This is in Nude. Now let's pick a lipstick from the upper part. I have it here and then I have another one down here. Drawer with lip products. Actually, let me choose from here a lip liner. I do want to go with a red lip liner and I'm going to pick, I'm going to go with Jeffree Star 1 right here. And for lipsticks, um, let me see, what do I have in here? Let's go with the Jer Cosmetics 1 and... Let's do this one that is from uh, Beauty Bakery. And for um, this uh, area where I have a few, a few of my um, 
eyeshadow palettes that uh, I need to try and play with more. Either I'm gonna go with Pat McGrath because I haven't played with this one that much and I'm trying to create a little bit more like bridal looks or go with Alyssa Edwards because I haven't played with this one in a while and I want to play with this a little bit more. So I'm not sure which one I want to go with. Let's go with Alyssa Edwards and we'll try Pat McGrath maybe next week. All right, so here are the things from last week and we're adding a new foundation, which is the Clinique one. We're adding this Touch and Soul primer. Hopefully they're gonna work well together. We are adding two um, powders, Sexy Mama, and this one in Burst Bees in what color 115 sand and then cover fx we're doing the uh, sunkiss bronze we have the two makeup by mario sculpt uh the bronzer and the blush we do have the lipstick from um beauty bakery and one from jara cosmetics let me show you show you how they look Alright, so here's the one from Beauty Bakery, which is a really nice, beautiful red. And then the one from Jara Cosmetic is like a dark brown. And then the lip liner from uh, Jeffree Star is pretty red as well. Uh, these ones I don't need to show you to you because you know how they look like. It's a nude and then a brown. Uh, the new concealer is going to be this one from Too Faced Born This Way. I had it in my collection for at least six months and i have not tried it yet so i need to try it. this is in natural beige and then of course we have Alyssa edwards i'm gonna show both of you both the eyeshadow palettes to you so you can see how they look inside and also i'm gonna show you how that cover effects uh bronzer looks like all right so this is the glam light one if you haven't watched my last video then you may not know how this looks like this is how it looks like and the one from ABH this is how it looks like the mattes in here are not that great but the shimmers are amazing and I want to play with those shimmers again and then this is that bronzer from cover FX all right so this is how the Huda Beauty looks like the highlighter palette and then this is how that blush in electric bloom from pat mcgrath looks like and that is the one from bomb sexy mama powder and there you go this is what my everyday makeup drawer is gonna look for this week let me know if you want to see any makeup look this week including like a full face with these products or anything like that let me know down below or some looks with these eyeshadow palettes but this is my everyday makeup drawer for this week i'll see you all next time thank you for watching bye, -bye.